Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising Monthly Tarot reading for October 2018 So uh, before um, I start the spread and while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that this is just a general reading for Aquarius Star Sign and this is not your personal reading Therefore I'm going to explain the cards or I'm going to do as much as I as best as I can to explain you the cards and also their synergy in the spread but it forces you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want us to talk about your personal situation and draw cards specifically for it then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing, um, if you like these uh, reports and you find them helpful and you want to know even more about your star signs, career and relationship, there is a um, extended monthly tower reading that you can purchase for just $1.49 in which we are going to focus specifically on those two fields. So um, this is going to be a five card general spread for the month. Now the first card here will be about the situation that the month is going to present you. The second card is about the intentions that you should obtain for the duration of the month or what is the best course of action. Third card is the uh, obstacles which are causing predicaments throughout the month. The fourth card is about the resources that you can rely on or what will help you throughout the month. And the last card, it will be um, the final outcome or what will be the result of all that. So let's see what you got here. Two of Wands shows that this is going to be a, a very aggressive month. First of all, that will be a month where you are going to chase results. Results into your career, results into your relationship. In general, that will be a month of a, an opening. So you will have an, an open and clear path for you to truly prove yourself as something better than you are right now. Either into your career, as I said, or either into your relationship. Very important here is, is that you will have the opportunity opportunity to expand your skills and your knowledge or in other words you know you will be given an opportunity to do more than you are given to do at this very moment and it's important that you don't screw it up that is obvious but um, on a more profound level the two of wands is associated with aggression with aggression ones want to show themselves are better than the others and there is nothing wrong with that guys it's just um, at, at a specific moments throughout the month it will be important for you to hold down your horses especially when people uh, are about to make a decision all right and, and not to be way too tenacious toward them because sometimes when you are way too tenacious the two of wands uh, manifest in a very negative way and deprives you from everything that you could have win uh, from that situation so literally that card points that yes you will have the opening but in the same time you got to be smart about it all right and you should not blow up any opportunity uh, coming up your way in any case uh, important to be said here is also that at this specific month you Aquarius should think about what else you can manifest in your life either career wise or either relationship wise because if you can observe the card uh, this guy is wondering what other field uh, fields he is going to conquer next and that's why this card is a sign that you can uh, be successful in a different field in your life than the fields that you are finding yourself right now. Uh, for example, if you are single and you have a lot of suitors around you, uh, this is a card pointing as a clear sign that you can have even more suitors around you, all right? <laughs> or uh, if we're talking about career here, and if you are good in making calculation, this card, the calculations, this card is a sign that you will be good at something else uh, to contribute for your company which could be a prerequisite to get a, a promotion the means or rather like the uh, the intentions that you should have throughout the month here is the Sun card 
And the first and most important intentions uh, that you should adopt is that to allow the situation to unfold naturally. Remember what we said here about the, uh, about the tenacity. Yeah, tenacious is good. I mean, being persistent, you know, and being pushy. But at the same time, when... Uh, as I said, when people were about to make a decision, you should allow them, you should kind of like grant them the time to do so. And this involves natural unfoldment of the situation. Uh, why? Because the sun is something natural, you know. The sun uh, is rising every day and is setting every day and that is the natural course, course of event. And this is how you need to allow, uh, to allow the situation to unfold. Also, the sun points here that uh, you should maintain your positive attitude, which involves you um, surrounding yourself with only positive people, people who can... Uh, who, who, whom you can laugh with, you know, who, whom you can have fun with, etc, etc. And the final thing that the sun asks you here is to uh, kind of like settle disagreements and arguments, wrangles as well, you know, in other words, reach peace with as much people as you can with those who have a, a different opinion than yours. And the peace needs to be made not by combining the opinions or rather like uh, succumbing uh, their opinion to yours or being allowed your opinion to be succumbed to theirs but um, you know just acknowledging that different opinions are something natural and normal and that doesn't that that should not be a, a prerequisite to people to be enemies to one another the next card here is showing the uh, challenges that you should overcome throughout the month challenges which are causing predicaments so what we do have with the nine of cups the, this is a, a very rare case when the nine of cups it's uh, it manifests in a negative way and uh, if you ask yourself if you have certain knowledge in tarot and ask yourself well how the, man the, the nine of cups is going to manifest itself in a negative way well the nine of cups uh, you need to remember that the nine of cups is one step behind the ten of cups which means that yeah i mean your work is giving you pleasure and probably your achievements thus far uh, are satisfying you for the moment but they are not the grand achievements that you have set for your aims. Therefore, in this month, for what it seems, you Aquariuses won't be able to, figuratively speaking, close the deal, you know, or to basically blow the thing up. So literally this card points that uh, your deeds and your undertakings will traverse into the next month as well, the month of November. That does, but that this doesn't mean, Aquarius, is that you should kind of slack and you should drop off your performance. Just on the contrary, the Nine of Cups is pointing that you will experience temporary happiness, something short term, with a possibility to traverse it into something long term. So uh, it will take a little bit of an extra effort to do so and when we look at these cards maybe uh, you will face a certain obstacles in your undertaking a small and petite obstacles for that matter which you haven't predicted and that could cause a certain aggravation of your behalf but you will acknowledge that even um, that exactly those small obstacles are the minor things that needs to be attended so you can stabilize you know the happiness granted to you by your achievements and uh, the next card it will be what you can rely on or what will help you throughout the month a very broad card is what we do have here we do have the hermit manifesting in a different ways for every single one of you but the hermit basically points that um your Aquarius is, this month is are going to find the light that shines for you in the darkness. So every single one of you guys is going to find something that they can look forward to. Either connected with uh, with the improvement in the end with the growth here or something completely peripheral and exterior. This will be a agenda as I said, for you to look forward to and it will be something that you can truly hang on to if if shits really hit the fan at a certain point. So it, it doesn't look like, guys, that you are going to basically stumble to a wall. This is exactly what the card says. No matter what you do, there will be always a room for you to improve. And also, if we're talking in a very deep 
relationship starts here the hermit points that um, you can rely on the honesty of the emotional expression of your partner and of yourself as long as you are also honest and and candoring with your emotional expression and the last card here that will be the final outcome six of cups <clears throat> so at the end of the month for what it seems the results that you have achieved even though they are not the uh, the culmination of uh, of the results that you are expecting will give you pleasure i mean when you turn your head back and you see how much you have done throughout the month that will boost your self-confidence is going to allow you to be a little bit more creative and a little bit more bold with your performance moving on forward into the future very strong card for relationships as well it does point that there will be a, a tremendous amount of synergy in between the physical and the emotional side of one relationship when we're talking about the six of cups and also this card does expresses of that there will be a heavy burden that drops off your chest of your heart here and you're going to feel a little bit more light-hearted and not a little bit but a lot of a lot more light-hearted and kind of like a, a free of, of uh, emotional distortion if i may say it that way uh, caused by doubts um, poignant situations despondency etc etc so the mod will turn out at the end very well for you and you can expect that if nothing else at least in an emotional uh, emotional stabilization and leaning toward the positive end of it like uh, likewise happiness so that being said Aquarius this was your monthly tarot reading for October 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again guys this is just a general reading for Aquarius star sign therefore this is not your personal reading and I have explained you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to pull cards for your personal situation and to align them to, to the situation itself well that is the subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and also if you find these reports helpful and you want to know more about your star sign specifically career and relationship there is a extensive month monthly tower reading that you can purchase for just dollar 49 from my website and there we are going to visit a uh, revisit two spreads um, one for career and one for relationship rat signing out now see you next time bye